Still happening in Vermont. Uh, well, not totality. You've just got that last little edge of the uh, moon crossing the sun's path and then it's back again. So, um, so we've been looking at that shot for about an hour now, roughly, and uh, seeing the whole thing, basically. Joining us live now, the astronomy and physics professor at the University of Moncton, Francis LeBlanc. Um, Francis, uh, we'll keep that shot running, but uh, you saw it a little earlier. What'd you make of it? It was spectacular. Here it lasted only a minute and 33 seconds. But it was, it was like looking at a hole in the universe. It was just pitch black, and we saw the corona come out. It was clear as day, the corona. Uh, we saw Venus. We saw Jupiter in the sky. People were cheering. It was very, it was, it's my second eclipse that I've seen. Total, total eclipse, I should say. And this one was above above anything I've seen before. Why, why, why is it so special? Why, why, why are people just getting so excited about it? Well, it goes from day to night uh, in a couple of seconds. It, it, the, the light will slowly goes down. It, it's a weird feeling. It's not like it's cloudy, but there's still light. When it's even if there's 1% or 0.5%, and all of a sudden, it's like we turned the lights off. It, it, was, it was the night, people were cheered. And then you look up without the eclipse passes, because when it's, uh, when it's totality, you can look with your naked eye. And you just saw a, a black round spot with a corona, a very, very bright corona all around it. Yeah, I and mean, uh, a couple of seconds after that, we saw the the planets planets yeah, come out. Yeah, I, I think I mean uh, we had a guest on earlier who sort of painted that picture really well as well. I mean, it's this moment where everything is aligned, and it's just very special to be to be caught up in that moment, and then and then perhaps realizing how insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. Not not to not to make this too much of a downer. <laughs> yeah, it's an eerie feeling at the beginning because it's it's getting darker and slowly like it's a it's not like a nightfall it's uh because there's sunlight but there's just it's very dim like dimming out the light and all of a sudden you turn it off yeah and the picture you just saw saw that with the corona that's what we saw in the sky it looked like there was a, a hole in the sky yeah hey uh are you gonna go to the next one francis uh i'll i would like to but the next one over here is in 2079 Yep. So if I want to see the next one, I'll have to travel with them. <laughs> All right. So there's one happening in a couple of years. I think it's in Spain. And then yeah. uh, we've got a, we've, we might have some news regarding Australia in a couple of years too. So we'll, uh, we'll get some dates for you folks or expectations anyway. Francis, thanks for joining us this morning and joining in the fun.